Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a new video. I started a new character which is going to be 100% self-sufficient, meaning that I won't have any interaction with any other player, as in I won't buy, sell or trade with another player. Every single item that I get I either have to farm myself or if I could get it through the item shop then I can get it through there. I am playing on the Europe server since there are not a lot of people playing on here and that makes it easy for me to farm the items that I will need. As you can see at the start of I bought some items from the item shop, uh, I pretty much got the auto yang of pickup, the coin so I could get double the drop of the yang and thief gloves. These boosts are kind of crucial since without these I would have to manually pick up every single yang drop and since picking up yang will be my main source of actually making yang, this is really needed and pretty much also so I could just afk and make yang at the same time with the auto hunter. The Thief Gloss speak for itself, I need that so I could drop the upgrade material and other items easier. Also as you can see I chose the Bone Ninja for this. The only reason is, is because it's a lot harder to play a self-sufficient account as a Bone Ninja than let's say as a Warrior or any other class. Of course I would progress a lot quicker as any other class but that would just make it more boring and not as interesting in my opinion. The start of the ninja was probably the hardest since I would just constantly have to pick up any item so I could have enough yang to keep on buying arrows and pretty much upgrade my equipment. But it's also like a little bit more rewarding this way because I actually had to grind like a lot just to get some upgrades. I've also just spent hours auto hunting just to get yang to upgrade all my items. Also since because at a certain point I will become too high level to get certain upgrade items like lower class ones, I will probably eventually just allow myself to make a lower level account, maybe another bone ninja or whatever class, I don't know that yet, it's just so I can farm those items in that level range. Like if I need to bear girl or something, I can't farm it as like a level 50 or anything, so I'll just make like a level 15 and just farm them that way. I also have to use the free weapons that I will get sparingly, I also thought about that because eventually after 2 weeks they will expire and then I would have to refer to like a horn bow which is a lot weaker if I don't have one with like 40 plus average since well the free weapons in my opinion are just the most broken item in the game. I also mentioned that I will be using the item shop. I will say that I won't just spend like 300 euros on here just so I could get all my gear fully and well bonused since first of all spending so much money ain't worth it and second of all it would defeat the whole purpose of the account. The reason why you will eventually see me buy certain items is because I could literally go like weeks if not months before I have certain items made and I just want to progress and just not be stuck on items that I won't be able to farm actively like all the bonus changers and adders. You will also see that I will have a talisman all of a sudden. This is because I did Tombola and with the three lucky like tokens I got it. But as I showed you before, for some reason my recorder doesn't pick up the item so tap. But I got three lucky tokens and that is the first item that I got pretty much. As of right now it's quite useless since if I'm correct at the moment it doesn't really give me any bonus because I haven't put any bonus on it. Plus it's an ice talisman. Like in the maps I am right now, it, like it won't have any benefit for me at all. I also don't have any specific goal for this account, I'll just see how far I can take this character. Like getting from level 55 to 75 alone would take quite a bit of time since I will have to get the fire resistance gear to do so and since I will only be using a bow that will just make it even longer. Also not having any crazy damage since I won't have a sash or el alchemy or anything that just boosts my damage by a lot will only just make it take longer and longer. I'm also thinking of allowing myself to at least buy like the books of forgetfulness but I don't know if that will ruin everything because I want it to be a self-sufficient account but 
because in the future I will be stuck on like 17 points on certain skills and like farming them could take weeks if not months just to get to M1 then. I'll probably al only allow myself to buy these books of forgetfulness but I don't know for sure. I'll probably just try and farm them for a while and see what happens. Like if I can't get the books quickly I'll probably just allow myself to buy them just so I can actually progress reading the books. As you can see I just dropped uh, bonuses on a level 1 shield, I farmed in the Imaha for like a couple hours and I just wasn't able to get the pentagon shield so I pretty much decided to do it on a level 1 shield and as you can see I instantly got defense against blackout which was the main bonus I was looking for since I mainly need this so I can farm in valley because the orcs will stun me otherwise and it would pretty much become impossible to do so. But that will be all for this episode, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, episode 2 will probably be posted in like 1-3 to three days, if you got some tips for this account leave it in the comments, I would like to know if you have some, and I will see you guys in the next episode.